How many of you could say for sure which is the world's fastest boat? Making a very fast boat is arguably even harder than making a fast car. You have the water and weather to worry about, and all the technology required to increase speed while keeping the ship afloat. The people who make them should get more recognition. Here are the fastest boats in the world. American viewers may be familiar with the Staten Island Ferry, which is fine at its job, but a little slow. The Australian-built Francisco is what the Staten Island Ferry might look like if it was turbocharged. Designed to cross the Rio de la Plata estuary between Argentina and Uruguay, Francisco is capable of speeds up to 67 miles per hour. That's quicker than any other passenger ship in the world. You'll see faster speedboats, but speedboats don't have hundreds of cars and thousands of passengers on board. Moving that kind of weight needs powerful engines. And so the Francisco has two 59,000 horsepower GELM 2500 gas turbines, a system derived from the type of engineering you'd find on a Boeing 747 aircraft. We live in the age of electronically powered ships these days, but that doesn't stop people from trying to go faster and faster using the wind alone. The Vestas Sail Rocket 2 is currently the fastest ever ship under sail, hitting a peak speed of 75 miles per hour in 2012. It should be noted that the Sail Rocket 2 was built specifically to break the world record, which it did three times in a week before setting the current high mark. But that doesn't take anything away from the design team, nor does it take anything away from Paul Larson, who was the man sailing the boat at racing speed when the record was set. It's been several years since the Danish team set the record, and it might be the case that it stands forever. Whether you use sails or electrics, setting new records on water is hard. No matter how powerful your engine is, you still have to deal with the force of water resistance trying to counteract your acceleration. That means electronic boats looking for record speeds have to be innovative, like the Jaguar Vector Racing Team were in June 2018. By hitting 88.6 miles per hour in a Jaguar Vector Racing V20E boat, Peter Dredge didn't just break the existing world record, he smashed it. The previous fastest recorded speed was 76.8 miles per hour, more than 10 miles per hour slower. The record was set on Lake Coniston in England, with a boat using engine technology taken from Formula E racing cars, powered by two giant batteries weighing 705 pounds each. The military would obviously have an interest in fast-moving boats, so it might be a surprise to hear that the record for the fastest Navy boat in history was set in 1969 and has stood ever since. To be fair, the Canadian-built HMCS Brador, it was going very fast at 72 miles per hour when the record was set. It wasn't carrying equipment at the time it achieved its peak speed, and with an armament on board, it would be more likely to achieve speeds in the 50 miles per hour range. But even that would be double the pace of an average military ship at the time. She may one day have gone faster, but the vessel was part of a trial by the Canadian Navy, and the trial was ultimately cancelled by the government, citing a change in military priorities. The ship survived and is now a museum exhibit. The Soviet submarine K-222 was a trailblazer in more ways than one. As well as being the fastest submarine in history, she was the first to be built with a titanium hull and was a case of forced innovation by Soviet scientists. Using any elements of prior designs had been forbidden by the state, and so everything about it had to be the product of fresh ideas. The K-222 was the only submarine of its class ever built with planning starting in 1959 and the ship being placed into active service 10 years later. At top speed, she was capable of 51.6 miles per hour underwater, although running at that speed caused damage to the external hull. Because of her high development costs, she was nicknamed the Golden Fish. Ultimately, she was worth the money, remaining in service until 1988 when she was placed on reserve. Deconstruction work began in Sevmash in 2010, although no provision was ever made for dismantling the ship's reactor, which has complicated the process. 
we're looking to give you at least one boat in every category. So here's the fastest, rigid inflatable boat the world has ever seen. You're looking at the Techno Hull CDNA 999, which is 34 feet of concentrated power and acceleration. At full throttle, this Greek creation can hit speeds of over 100 miles per hour. When you don't want to push things that far, you can take advantage of one of the boat's three different configuration options for its bow, one of which amounts to a whole extra deck for sunbathing, or if you'd prefer, an extra twin bed and bathroom facility. The 800 horsepower engine is where all the thrust comes from, and while 100 miles per hour isn't available constantly, the Techno Hull boat's cruising speed of 80.5 miles per hour is still rapid. In the world of offshore boat racing, boats don't come much more recognizable than the neon yellow color of Miss Geico, the carbon fiber racing catamaran which has proven almost unbeatable. Unconventionally, the vessel is powered by dual helicopter engines, producing 3,700 horsepower and delivering speeds of an eye-watering 184 miles per hour. With such an incredible design, it's no wonder that this boat has won the U.S. Superboat World Championships four times. The GEICO team are constantly looking for faster and better designs, and feel it's only a matter of time before they can produce a catamaran capable of exceeding 200 miles per hour on a regular basis. When it comes to super yachts, everybody's still trying to catch up to what the Dutch achieved with the Millennium 140 in 2004. No luxury yacht has ever gone faster than the Millennium model, which demonstrated its capability to reach 80.8 miles per hour in sea trials. Cruising speed comes in at 57.5 miles per hour, which is around the top speed most other yachts can hit at their fastest, even brand new ones. The Millennium 140 isn't just a fast ship, it's a beautiful one, with a hull designed by Italian specialist Mulder and an engine room containing two 530 horsepower Paxman engines, backed up by similarly powered gas turbines. There are no traditional propellers in this boat at all. The builders decided that jets would be better for handling, and so installed three water jet nozzles. Those who have had the pleasure of sailing on a Millennium 140 say that the aluminum body feels like the fuselage of an aircraft, and so you get the impression that you're actually flying through the waves like you're on a plane. You should always be very careful about calling any record unbreakable, but it's hard to imagine how anybody will break the powerboat record set by the Spirit of Qatar catamaran team in 2014 without major achievements in technology. Racing at the Lake of the Ozarks shootout, the two-person British and Qatari team inside the 50-foot-long catamaran hit a blistering speed of 244 miles per hour on the waterway, leaving everybody else trailing in their wake. The Spirit of Qatar vessel certainly won't be trying to break the record again. It was built purely to serve this purpose, and now it's done its job. It's been retired along with the racing team. They must be confident that nobody else is going to come and steal their crown, and they probably don't want to risk trying to push it any harder. When you've hit 244 miles per hour on the water, you've probably done enough already. People come from miles around to watch drag racing car shows, but we think drag racing on water might be even more impressive. The Lucas Oil Drag Boat Series is the most respected boat drag racing competition, and the fastest man it's ever seen is Eddie Knox, the pilot of Problem Child. Problem Child isn't just the fastest drag boat in history, it holds all 15 fastest times over a thousand foot course in history. Nobody else even gets close to it. As for the top speed, 262 miles per hour faster than a Formula One car at top speed. That level of performance is made possible by the 8,000 horsepower Hemi engines that you'd find in the drag boat's land-based equivalents. It looks like an uphill battle for any other boat to even break into the top 10 fastest times that Problem Child has set. Nobody in the history of racing boats on water ever did more for the sport than Britain's Donald Campbell and his beloved Bluebird boat. 
The Bluebird JK-7 was a jet-powered hydroplane that single-handedly increased the world record for water speed by nearly 100 miles per hour during the years it was active. The record-shattering boat was decades ahead of its time when it first took to the water in January of 1955. When the record stood at 178 miles per hour, Campbell and Bluebird took that record easily. But Campbell believed he could go faster and faster, proving himself right, and finally setting a new record speed of 276.33 miles per hour in 1964. Bluebird was such a unique ship that it was the only working jet boat in the world until the late 1960s, almost 15 years after its maiden voyage. At the start of this video, we told you we'd show you the fastest boat in the world. And here it is. The Spirit of Australia is the fastest boat the world has ever seen. And it has been since 1978. Amazingly, it wasn't produced by a professional racing team or a huge corporation. It was almost exclusively the work of one man, working on his jet boat in his spare time. Ken Warby is the man responsible for Spirit of Australia, and he set a record for speed on the water that it doesn't appear anybody will ever be able to beat. Warby built the boat around an ex-military jet engine that cost him $69 at an auction, and made the frame out of fiberglass and wood. He was working on the boat in his backyard, so when it rained, he simply covered it with a tarp. Somehow, he managed to get his ramshackle homemade contraption up to 317.6 miles per hour on October 8, 1978. It's never been beaten since. But Warby may be responsible for the next time the record is broken too. He's currently working on constructing a new boat with his son and aims to break the record again. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching and see you soon.